gave me the love that This is what it sound like when thugs cry Looking at the world, here with no mas Hear the pain in my lullabies Dear black and brown America, we love you. A statement not always shouted from the top of our lungs, and that might be due to a reason that we'll explain in a few moments. So let's get right into it. There's a war going on outside, nobody's safe from. You can run, but you can't hide forever from air. Taking action against climate change is needed to save our communities. What? Yeah, you heard it right. Taking action against climate change is needed to save our communities. Certainly, it's the last thing on any of our minds. I mean, who has the time to think about climate change, global warming, or even pollution when you're a poor person of color? But you're loved, you're cherished, and more importantly, you're needed in this fight against climate change. So think again. So racism? Check. Social inequality? Check. Police? That's a whole nother documentary, but check. The earth and environment? What? Yup, I know it's crazy, but this has been the silent oppressor or the other ghost face killer to minorities in America for years. Here's the breakdown. Gases like carbon dioxide not only pollute our air, but contribute to global warming by trapping the sun's heat. Mix that with the already naturally occurring greenhouse gases, it leads to causing warmer climates. Part of this is attributed to car and bus exhaust, pollution from big factory buildings and power stations, and agricultural emissions, just to name a few. But what does that have to do with you? Climate change directly impacts the black and brown people in New York City because racial minorities are more likely to be exposed to environmental dangers because they not only work, but live in these polluted locations. A low socioeconomic position has a direct correlation to the quality of your life. One of the major environmental consequences of global warming is excessive heat waves. Black communities have more hot days than their white counterparts due to overpopulation and low income housing. A recent study with Moms Clean Air Force in 2022 listed that counties with a larger concentration of African-American residents like New York City experienced two to three extra days of potentially life-threatening heat per year. Around the year 2050, that number is expected to rise tenfold. Along with these heat waves, deteriorating air quality is a consequence of global warming. Poor people with respiratory illnesses and heart disease are at a new health risk due to harmful air pollutants being released into the atmosphere. By living in poorer communities, it's a challenge for them to find feasible medication as compared to their white counterparts. We sat down with Linda Nozar Frierson, a registered respiratory therapist and certified asthma educator, the director of operations for Nose Health Education, LLC, to speak on just how dangerous this is specifically to those in apartment buildings and public housing. Most of us in New York, we know that our zip code predicts our health. And so it's where I work. I work in North Brooklyn. I run the asthma education home visit program. Uh, we have a high prevalence of asthma. And also we have the Bronx. The Bronx has the highest prevalence of asthma in the country. And it makes so much sense because we have high traffic. We have the major digging, building, and construction going on in these urban areas. How do we fight this uncommon enemy, you may ask? Well, this is step one, awareness on the issue. Share with those in your community and let's make greener choices. Two, let's push for more scholarships and environmental future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Three, we need more representation and legislation to raise awareness and also create laws against the destruction of the environment, considering it affects us more than the faces who are at the head of green change. So take these words home and think them through, for the next documentary might be about you. Sincerely, Black Gold TV.